Hello, welcome to another video. This video is going to be on Grasshopper and understanding data tree, basically data management. Uh, da we're going to keep the project fairly simple. And, um, and just because I want to focus on, on just this, this subject, because I kn it's one of the most complex subjects to understand, especially if you have no um, history with programming or anything like that. And, um, and you know, maybe you've only been modeling or designing. But, but it's one of the most important aspects of Grasshopper, and it's one of the most difficult to understand. So I'm going to slowly build this algorithm up. And then as I go through it, I'm just going to uh, go over a lot of the basics on what is data management. Data management is a way to communicate with Grasshopper what you want to do. Um, you know, you have no traditional mouse to like sort of click on the point or the curve that you want to select and connect it to the other curve you want to select. So you need to figure out how to tell Grasshopper, hey, get this sort set of data and then do this with it. And when you do that, it makes more data. So you need to figure out how to navigate around it. And it's as complex as it has to be. This is one of the biggest complaints I hear on Grasshopper. It's that it's too complex. I don't understand it. And trust me, I, I definitely feel you. It took me a very, very long time to understand these whole concepts, especially coming just from design and modeling background, because it's actually really just programming. But once you understand it, you really, you really realize, oh, OK, this is how I can really control every single aspect of my algorithm. So, so um, it, it's worth the effort, you know? And it's, um, it's basically 95% of your problems. Almost every email I get, um, most of the time, the, the answer is just data management. Um, you know, I don't answer those anymore because, you know, it's, it's, uh, I'm not going to help you learn these basic concepts. You need to sort of challenge yourself to do these. But I'm hoping that this video, I'm going to go through a bunch of the basics and be a little bit repetitive and simple. And I'm going to try to get to a little more complex subject on this while still keeping it, you know, um, for, for beginners, you know, just to kind of help you guys understand this, um, of the basics of it. Okay, we're going to start with the basics. First, we're going to add a series, which is basically just a count. And then we're going to uh, make those into points using the construct point um, tool. So then we connect that to the Z. <clears throat> and then for, um, for the numbers, let's make the, the, the step 20. And then let me let me change the color to something a little more visible. We'll change this to. <clears throat> and then the count will make it into like eight. Like that. Okay. So now we have these points and let me let me hide the grid by you could type grid in the in um in Rhino and then you press H and it hides the grid and then you press O it hides the axis. Okay, so now we have these points, right? Now, now let's just analyze real quick what's, go what's going on right now, right? We made these points, uh, we, we attached them, we go to parameters, and we go to panels. Where is pan? Oh, it's right here. If I connect this here, okay, I could see the, the information that, that, uh, that I've made, right? So um, the, this series is made this count, and we put it here. So now it added all of these points into that into that um, point in the in the axis. Now um, these this is basically a simple list, and then um, and then and the path is right here. We we basically just made the main like trunk of the of the data tree. If um, if we use this uh, parameter viewer and we connect it here, <clears throat> see it's just a it's just a simple it's just a simple tree. With a uh, with one one list in the in the back, and there's eight items here, right? If we want to, let's say let's say we want to um, uh, just just use just see use one, see one of these, right? Like select one of these. So we go to sets, and then we go to um, to a list item, and we and we uh, connect this here, and then we hide that. And then see right now we only have the, the one here. And then because it's asking for the index and it's already default into, into zero. And see the index zero here. So that point is the zero point, right? So if I get um if I get another another list and I connect it to here, 
see now now it's uh it's going through through the different through the different points that's what I'm sort of selecting that now let's say let's say I wanted to sort of invert that and instead of just selecting this one I want to delete that one right deleting is is basically called colon in uh, in programming so if I use the col index it's basically the exact same thing but inverted so I go here and then I click put this here right so now if I hide this and this see now all this is doing is is deleting whichever one I want uh, th this is obviously a very simple example but we're gonna slowly build up on that all right now that we did this simple stuff I'm gonna I'm gonna organize it a bit and and we'll, we'll just keep sort of adding to it and here I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make the max into 10 10 and then here I'll make the max into 20 and this is just to help me with my um, when I'm moving those sliders back and forth like there's no need for me to have all those numbers in there and here th uh, these these components we're gonna get to later um, and then this one we're gonna group it up like that and then we're gonna call it we're gonna call it trunk about oh, we're gonna right click it onto the group and go trunk like that okay so now we're gonna use this same counter, the same series, to um, to do a little more stuff, and I want to kind of show you guys what's going on. Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna move them. So let's you here in transform, in um, in you Euclidean. I, st I still don't know how to say that one. Uh, you get the move tool, and then the vector we're gonna use is the x vector, and then we're gonna we're gonna connect this here and connect this here and then connect the points here so uh, I'm gonna hide this one here and now so once we added these two series uh, let's take a look at what happens when we move stuff around like if, if I go less right and if I if I uh, what if I gaffed this this these points up um, so I right click I can either right click here and, and press uh, I mean graft these up or I can right click here and press graft so um, uh, you could also just add uh, like let's say a data like that and then we go we press that in and then we go graft and then we connect that here right see now something completely different happened and if I if I kind of do this see or the number of how it kind of goes now let me let me explain a little bit of exactly what what is going on here okay so in the first one it's a fairly simple concept to understand right we have seven um, uh, eight uh, items right one of uh, some are points and the others are are um, our numbers and then we're telling grasshopper okay get the zero item and move it zero times get the one item and move it uh, 20 uh, 20 units to the to the right and so on and so forth so it really is just a simple one-to-one -one, um, connection so here once we have um, a, a different um, relationship between them what basically is happening is grasshopper is looking at all the items and then once it hits to the item number three it, uh, on item number four it realizes well I have any more I don't have any more data but it knows that the last thing that you wanted was a 60 so it applies that movement to the rest of the list and and this is why we get this sort of result so here is when it starts getting a bit tricky because we asked grasshopper to graph the data up and what that basically means is we told the grasshopper hey that first trunk we made all those points let's make them onto their own individual group right and then if you see there with the with the in the path of the of the data it, it, it put all the points in, in its own group and then now we added those those three those four numbers and so we basically told uh, grasshopper hey get get this list and move it this four times and then all we did is when we added more numbers to it is just equaled out the grid um, uh, but it's sort of you know it's it's this is a kind of way to to understand this concept I'm gonna go through some other tools so you can kind of see it in different ways and hopefully it'll, it'll help you guys understand this. Okay, so we're gonna take a little step back and we're gonna hide this. And we're gonna connect these to, to this point. And the tool we're gonna use is here in display. 
and and um, a vector and point list. So we go here, and then we connect this here. And let me you need to hit this. This is where you put the points, and this is where you put the size. And for the size, I'm just gonna get this number slider, and and put it here. So um, then let me let me show you the actual the points, right? So all this is t telling me is is uh, where where um what what the list item is in this in this in this list. You know, I mean, where does that point land on this list item, right? So so if we if we go here, right? This point is the zero point, right? And um and and so on and so forth. And if we go up to to uh, just when we when we um, uh, graphed it, like here we only grafted it, right? We haven't moved anything yet. If I connect, if I connect that here, see now, now they're all zeros because because I told Grasshopper, hey, put all of these in their own group, you know, and then now it's just zero. And then w if we connect that, that uh, see if we connect it here, see. So if uh, if if then we when, once we do that movement right here, <clears throat> and then I connect that here. See now, now we have a, a matrix basically, and 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 you could see how how it's sort of grouped up, and then where those items fall in the list. Okay, so now now we have this list, uh, well, this basically matrix here, and I want to bring back that tool we talked about, the list item tool, right? And and then here, like let's say we're going to select all these four points, right? So let me get this this um, number slider, and I'll go to four. I'll connect that here, and then I'll connect that here, right? So now, if I if I hide this, see, oh, this, and this is the other one. Let me hide that. So so as you can see here, because I the the. This list item is doing is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's it's uh it's giving me it's looking at all these lists, all these different groups, and then it's just giving me the the fourth item for every group. So if I connect this to here, see these are the 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 these are these are the the number four. But now since it's only one item, it's it's a it's down to zero, right? And if I, for example, let's say I want to flip this matrix, right? There's a flip matrix command. And I, and I do this, and I click this here, and then I connect this to this. See, now it inverted the, it inverted the matrix, right? And if I connect that to hit that, see, now it's connecting these four. But let's say that I want to um, actually get a branch, and, um, and and this is where, where we're gonna add another level of complexity, but uh, I'm gonna take it nice and slow, and I think you guys will, will start to understand. Okay, so we're, um, I'm, I'm gonna keep reviewing different stuff and sort of explaining the same stuff again, just to kind of uh, help you guys out. So I'm gonna use here the, uh, whoops, the parameter viewer, right? And uh, I'm gonna connect this to here, right? So we could just kind of analyze what's going on. And and also let me I'm gonna make this default so you can actually see what's going on. <clears throat> and then so it, see as you can see here it, it has a, it tells you okay we have uh, data with eight branches and and uh, each each branch has eight items right that's this whole grid. If I if I move this down, let me delete that. See, see it's telling me okay we still have eight branches but now we only have four points right. <clears throat> And um, and also very similar thing happens when when you flip the matrix, you know, in terms of uh, the the structure of this of this um, tree. So if I connect that here, see now I have four branches with eight items, you know, and this is kind of like just how how it, it works, you know. So let's say that I want to um, get a branch, you know. Um, this this is uh, this is where a lot of people start getting confused because you're like, okay, how what am I gonna do? Write all this down. And um, and it's not that it's not as di once you really start to practice it, it it's gonna sort of start clicking and they're like oh okay I, I get what's happening you know because um, uh, you know before we had those those seven I uh, you know well eight items but since it starts at zero you know that's why it ends here to zero <coughs> to seven instead of eight um, and then when we we grafted it up you know it sort of like made them into their own groups and now these groups have these nine items if I double click here. You can see what's going on. If I if I control copy, 
and paste and, and let's go to the do something like that. You see you see um you see here before it's flipped, you could see that that what what's what's going on. We have four branches here with uh with eight items and here we have eight branches with four items, you know? And um and this tool is actually really good too because if if I connect this notepad to this tool, see now this tool actually gives me the paths. So I don't have to like write down oh, zero, I want path zero, 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 or I want every other, I want zero, zero, two, zero, zero, three, right? So let's, let's, um, let's, let's get the, the list item tool, right? Like this. And we'll connect it, we'll connect it to here. And we'll, um, we'll use this, this one like that. And let's get like the, the second, we, we don't, I just wanted to show you guys the flipped matrix stuff, but now we don't need it for right now. So now um, if, I, if I show you this, see now I have this path right here for the, for the third branch. And I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna select that branch using um, in, in, under in sets, no, I'm sorry, in trees. You got the tree branch tool. So I go here. I connect this 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 uh, uh, tree right, and um, and then I connect this path. So now, if I if I connect these over here, see now I, I have I have this this uh, now I isolated this branch and and if I want to get the other branches, it's here right. Uh, what if I want to uh, maybe do it, you know do, do the inverted of that like how we did last time but with the list item. So instead of this, we're gonna use a col index, right? Like that, and like that. And then we place that one here. So see, now we're doing the same exact stuff we were doing with the list items, but we're, we're going up a level of uh, complexity. And, um, and there's, there's a million things you could do with this, right? You know, right now we're just doing, we're just doing three, right? But what if um, uh, I wanna do like every other one, or let's say I wanna do, I wanna, select the first three branches you know I could use the same tools I'm using here right because I just need the numbers and then let me look in here and I just I don't need I need the count to be one and and then and then now I could I could use this this uh, list count and I could place it um, here and then if I go here see now now I have now I have, um, I'm getting the first, the first uh, uh, five items, right? What if I wanted to get every other uh, list, right? So let's go at step count two, right? And then we don't need, let's say do something like that. So if I, if I put this here, see now I'm, I'm getting, let me connect the, um, this tool. Yeah, here. Oh, it's because you can't see it, but see it's down here. So see, now I'm getting that, uh, let's see, uh, every, let's go four maybe, right? Um, or I go back to one, see? And, and this is just simple data management. Obviously, I'm giving you guys the like most basic like version of this, but all of the, all of this like under sets, all of, all of this, <laughs> wait, excuse my dog. Ab Abby, chill. There must be. You know, she, she likes to protect me, but um, uh, all of these are super important. They all have different, different, um, different things you could do with it, uh, and and you have to sort of uh, it's it's it, to sort of explain all of this. It would be very difficult, so I can't like I mean it's not difficult. It's just extremely long, and that's not the point of this video. But I kind of wanted to show you guys the just you know um, uh, just the basics of of these data trees. All right, so I wanted to kind of just keep going and do do a little some some, some cool stuff just to kind of um, uh, finish the tree, honestly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I want to add the the a line a curve here to kind of to do the trunk, right? So I'm gonna go into curves and um, spline uh, interpolate, and then we're gonna put that here, right? Now we have we have this this like trunk. Okay, and then I'll put it down here, and um, and then I want to I want to let me let me hide this, 
And then I want to, instead of keeping these, I want to eliminate the bottom branches. So um, instead of using this tool, I'm going to use the other one, the coal index tool. Right, go here, right here, and here. Okay. So now we have, we have um, uh, like little branches on the top, right? Now that's a, uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the the same the same curve tool. Um, here, and connect these, right? Okay. Now we have all of these. Then let me get rid of these, clean it up a bit. See, and then if I wanted, if I wanted less or more, you know, move it around like that. Okay. Now I want to um, uh, first. I want to lower all the points down. Oh, actually, I want to eliminate these, right? The zeros, so uh, or the one zeros that are on the trunk. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into here. Uh, this we don't. Well, we'll just keep it around for right now. <clears throat> so um, right, I want to. Uh, whoops. Right, I want to eliminate the the the. Uh, sorry, I want to eliminate the zero. So I'm, I could use that the same tool, but this time with just one. I don't need a series because I'm just trying to eliminate the zero, like that. And I'm not. Remember, I'm not getting the branch or anything. I'm I'm going back to the normal, the normal um, way that this tool works. You know, um, I'm I'm getting this, I'm getting this tree right here, and I'm gonna tell it get rid of the zeros, zero zero zero, right? Using this tool, so we connect that here, and then if I if I control, if I control copy and paste, right, and I connect this like that. See, now it eliminated all the zeros. So now instead of having five items, now these only have four. And if I, so if I delete that, delete that, and if I, if I put, put this here now, see now I have these, right? <clears throat> and then we have these branches, and, and the size, that's fine. Let's put the branches somewhere here, right? Now let's add maybe some. Um, we'll add we'll add uh, uh, some some apples, right? So I'm, I want to get these points, and I'm gonna add a plane. So I'm gonna go to here plane, and it's gonna be an X Z plane, I think, right? I think so. And then I'm gonna place this here. And okay, now I have that. Now I'm gonna add a circle, right? Circle here, like that. Let me hide these. So there we go. Now I have little apples, and let's let's get the let's get the radius a little higher up, right? Or maybe a little less. Okay. Let me hide that. All right, and then I'll hide I'll hide the the other stuff, right? So now I have these, and I want to, let's say I want to lower all of these. And then, um, um, but I want to make it so that this one gets lowered more than this one, that gets lowered more than this one, then gets lowered more, or this one's going to be lowered the most, like a little gradient. So I'm going to use a series for that, all right, like that. And then I'm going to use the move tool, <coughs> and it's going to be off the Z vector. And then I, I know that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to have a list item that one has like one and the other one has like four or five and, you know, it's, and it's only four, four um, numbers. All right, so that's good. And actually, I think if I just connect this to here and then this to here, see now, now I'm, I'm getting that. But I wanted it to go down, not up. So I'm going to, I have to reverse this vector reverse I think it's this one right yeah reverse the vector or right like that okay so let's say I want it to be a little more oh no uh, a little more exaggerated right see now I have let me let's hide this and uh, and so now we have these little like berries there right and let's say um, I don't know let's say we want to we want to find uh, seeds, 
right? Like that, that are based off this thing. So we're gonna go curve. Um, and I know I'm going a bit quicker, but you know, this is just kind of, I'm just playing around at this point. Um, division, divide curve into equal segments. We're gonna go like that. And then see now I have I have little berries. So let me let me um let me show you guys if I if I go here. See now we have we have um uh, our our data tree is getting much more complex, you know, and um and let's see what happens when I go in here. Yeah. And and the thing and then also the thing about this one too, it's it's getting even more co complex than, it's, than, it's, than it needs to be, but um, uh, but the thing is, if I keep if I if I don't flatten it and if I keep it live, because I see a lot of you guys flattening it, I always have access to all of this data. Like if later I have to I have to um, uh, you know change it up or or you know locate a certain file, I mean a certain data set. If I if I keep everything unflattened and I keep all the record, you know the the data tree record. I have a lot more control over the, the final result. Um, so if, if we look at this data here, right? All of these, all of these points are in their own, um, are, are in their own um, group, right? What if I wanted to, I don't know, um, connect, connect all of these all of these uh, uh, seeds into each other, right? Um, let me, I guess I would get the list item, right? Like that, get this, see? And then, uh, and then, and then if, I, if I, but if I go here, see I'm only getting, I'm only getting one, uh, I wanna connect all of these together, right? But I'm only getting, um, uh, but they're all not, they're all in their own individual group. What am I gonna do? If I flatten them, they're, these are all gonna be just one giant list of, uh, of, um, of data points, but I don't want that. I still wanna keep all of that, you know? And let me, we're gonna connect it through, the, through another one as in like, let me get this. We go here, here, right? Let's say like that, we'll connect those, right? Um, if I wanna, if I wanna, but I still, you know, I still wanna connect these and I can't flatten them, so what am I gonna do? How am I gonna, how am I gonna tell them, hey, I still want you guys to be in a group, but I don't want you guys to, to talk to the, the corresponding levels. Um, that, that, that tool is the, um, uh, which one is it? <laughs> the shift path tool. So if I, get, I grab this here, and then I, I click this here, and then I go here, so see, what basically happened if I if I um, control copy and paste and do this? See, it shifted everything up. So uh, uh, so basically, it got everything back into it moved all of these back up to this point, and then uh, and then so now we have a little simpler simpler um, uh, branch data tree branch, and then um, and then if I use if I use that interpolate um, tool right, this one. Go here. See now I could connect that, you know, um, uh, and you know you kind of like do that. And obviously this is a really like um, like simple example, and I'm not really doing anything with this. But this is ba ba very much the base. This understanding is the basis of everything that I've done in in Grasshopper. Uh, it's the only way to do any of the stuff I've ever done. So before I end this video, I want to just say that, you know, right now we're just scratching the surface. There's a lot to learn about data management. It's very much programming. So, you know, you're going to have to really start to learn a lot of different concepts that are very difficult. So don't don't be too worried if you got confused, even in this little simple example, because it is a very difficult, it's not very intuitive to learn. So it takes a while, but just keep uh, reading up on it keep practicing and uh, and I swear all of a sudden little things are going to start clicking and then and then all of a, like you're going to start opening up a new world of of endless possibilities honestly with grasshopper you could do everything um 
every time I get emails, it's uh, it's a lot of times people are like, oh, I like Grasshopper, but I couldn't do this and this and this. And I'm always like, well, you know, I did that for this client and this client. You know, uh, anything is possible in Grasshopper. You can make any tool. So remember, don't give up. This is the one part that always, that's where I lose everybody. Like, you know, when I'm, when I'm helping people understand it or people that have come to me and have asked me for lessons, once we get to this part, it's when they just sort of give up and then just go back. But um, just, just don't give up. Keep reading up on it. Uh, learn a couple concepts on programming and, and you'll get there too eventually. I want to show you guys before I leave the, the, um, this, the, the last example I did as, a, as my own personal practice on just straight up data tree management. So this is called the King's Tower, and this is one of the projects that I used. I uh, sort of one of my own goals, the, uh, to basically try to really understand completely data management. You know, all of this was not, I didn't import anything. I, this is all completely from uh, Grasshopper. So so um, you know, remember to set your goals. You know, um, uh, obviously not to this level yet but you know like maybe try to start doing a vase or you know um uh, just a, a, a grid in space you know it's uh um you know slowly start building up and then um and then you can you, you yourself can can also get to this point you know i was i was definitely at, at your stage um not too long ago and i just kept going and slowly started understanding this and then once everything clicked it was a very amazing moment in my life because i knew that i could create these sort of things so um thank you for watching this video i hope you guys learned something and um i'll, I'll try to add more and more videos but you know it's, it's kind of difficult because these do take a long time but you know i want to thank you guys for sending me all those cool um all those nice emails thanking me and all that those really uh, it really makes these uh um you know afternoon spent the doing this kind of um uh make it worth it so um yeah uh, thanks for watching and um good luck in uh, in your grasshopper journey